So welcome to our hotel room in Chongqing. So we did it, we arrived in Chongqing and there is a shitload of people here compared to pretty much Ning. yeah, pretty much everywhere else we've been so far compared to Guilin and Naning. So uh, now gonna catch the metro to our hotel room and go and explore. So let's go. Exited the metro system, uh, and yeah, it was pretty close. We're in a hotel building at the moment. We've got to take this elevator to floor 47, and then change for another elevator to go to level 61 where our hotel is. So it's pretty high up. So yeah, it was uh, thankfully pretty close to the uh, the metro. Thankfully, so. And there are 40 hotels in this. Oh, uh, that building. one goes to 47 as well, but I'm I don't know. We'll wait for the next lift. Okay. That one looks a bit busy. Jeez, <laughs> just did about 20 floors apparently. I got okay. it, I got it. No box. Just stepped out, 61 floors up. Let's go check on in. So welcome to our hotel room in Chongqing. This is Noval. And this is pretty much, I'm gonna do the wide view. This is pretty much when you walk in. We've got the toilet situation, which I think looks like a bidet, from what I can see there. And then we've got the shower. But the real killer view is over here. Check it out. We've got the Grand Theatre just there. It's a pretty cool ass building. And there. Got the bathtub. So you can pretty much have a bath while you're overlooking the view. And then this side. Got some more really good views. Place is gonna look fucking amazing at night. Really not too sure how this is gonna turn out on the GoPro, but that's basically... Yeah, it doesn't look too bad actually. This is our room where we're staying at the moment. So uh, in Chongqing, we've got the bed there. Views are uh, pretty much awesome. She does do a pretty bloody good job. Oh, 
Okay, so we've successfully navigated our way to like the main CBD area, or what I think is the main CBD area of Chongqing. Uh, so now I believe we've got the World War II monument in front of us here, which is one of the landmarks to see in, uh, in Chongqing. And we've got Maccas and Omega and a whole bunch of stores, so we'll go check it out. All right. Yeah, this is the monument. That's definitely it, 100%, that's it. Last heaps of gold. Yeah, I know. That's very cool. So we found it. This is the uh, World War II monument. It's like actually a pretty short walk from our hotel. Uh, this looks to be the main CBD area, from what I can gather. Check it out, man. It's like fucking huge building. This is not the front. The other side has the corruptor. So I got the thing from. Oh, okay. Well, we've taken. <laughs> Looks like we've taken the photo on the wrong side, so uh, we'll take it from the correct side and yeah, hopefully it'll be a bit better. Yeah, this is pretty fucking crazy. Look how many levels this fucking shopping center has got. Like that is all escalators and things like that. That's, I guess, some of the major stores that they've got there on the side. It's pretty crazy, it just keeps going. Got the Apple store somewhere over there, I believe, the World War II monument that uh, apparently all of Chongqing is in front of right now. So this looks to be the front of the monument. Oh, thankfully it looks like I've lost my fucking mate. Some some old little fucking Asian lady was just like, kept fucking bumping into me, wanting to give her money and shit. I just said, fuck off. So, yeah, this is uh, pretty crazy. Okay, so the CBD is behind us. Uh, we're walking now using Kara's Chinese version of Google Maps uh, to the Voco building, uh, where apparently we want to get photos because it's the best place to get photos in Chongqing. <laughs> so yeah, all for the gram for the first part. Um, and then yeah, maybe a bit of shopping and oh, Ponya Cave. Oh, there's the Prada store that... Everyone wants to take a photo from here too, like you can take all the buildings. All the buildings. But I'm fine with that. That's so, the photo I showed you before. I don't think it's much. Prada. Jeez, man, it's so... So big, up, look yeah. Up. Big yeah. as well, crazy. This place just keeps going and going and going. Getting even, colder. Even the giant Chong Mao as well. Okay, 220 meters to left. 220 meters to left. Hopefully we get there. By the looks of it, we've got another mall in front of us here as well, and another yogurt cow, which is what I'm currently drinking. So, oh, so many colours and shit here as well. Like the lights are fucking. I'll wait for the crazy. night time. Yeah, tonight's gonna go absolutely off. Look. Oh man, nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh, we'll wait for this car to go. Sweet. Should be sweet to cross the road. What's this place, babe? like a pretty, look there's yogurt now, pretty extra place. I turn left over there. Where it says don't turn left if you're a car, but we're on foot at the moment. 
How, how far does it say to, we're going to walk? Another 13 minutes. Okay, we're getting the steps up today. We'll see us there. It's a real Instagram versus reality moment because uh, everyone's trying to get a photo with this particular building here in the background. And then look behind me, you've got like professional photographers, like all the way up the street there as well too. Pretty damn crazy. This is the hot spot. And even though we've got like a lot of sights to see, uh, we'll probably end up spending the next fucking hour here to get the perfect photo. It's about that as well. Okay. We're coming to check out this spot right here. As soon as I like get it from like not behind the trees <laughs> with our new local friend and also a pretty uh, hot spot for all the photos and stuff like that as well try and get this in the background that's that is amazing we've got the metro more malls, it just feel like whatever direction you turn in, you blink, there's a mall there, there's more Instagram action going on. Okay. Let's go check out this place, which I've just learned has a name, I think it's called Raffles City. Uh, and I'm just going off by what that sign says right there, Raffles City. <laughs> so many good Instagram spots, right? A <laughs> lot, eh? Yeah? never see that many. I know. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've just asked the name of our of our local tour guide. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out this mall. Hopefully. Looks like they chose the fast way. That is probably one of the biggest fucking out of our stores I have ever seen. Holy shit. Whatever that is. Oh, yeah. This place just keeps going and going and going. Pretty much the uh, view. Some nice lit up boats. I've been told that that is that is not Hongyao Cave over there. You can see over there in the distance. Apparently that's something else. But yeah, this is outside Raffle City. Fucking huge ass Jordan store, and we were actually going to walk that way along the river. You can see kind of in the background over there. That's the convention center. I wasn't allowed to go in there because I'll probably spend more money. Okay, so that over there that you can see is Hongyao Cave. Then we've got the convention center across the road there. Some more boats. Bloody incredible. There it is, Hongyao Cave. Yeah, the real Instagram people. Yeah, I know, I know. She must think that we're following her. Very cool.
Oh man. Heaps of uh, Instagram photos. <laughs> Lots of people dressing up for the occasion. A little bit of behind the scenes. I kind of got the shits of like Kara wanting the same freaking photo. So we decided to pay someone to get a proper quality shot of this. That would actually do it justice. That's the fucking bridge we had to walk over. There is like nothing but fucking people everywhere here. It is nuts. It's uh, pretty fucking chaos down there at the moment. They're trying to sort out our uh, next destination. Meeting up with one of her mates. Might be the Grand Theatre. 